about breast compression and this differs from hand expression that we covered earlier so just as a quick refresher so that there's not too much confusion between the two when we're hand expressing the breast we're placing our fingers in that u-shaped hold just under the areola and we're squeezing and pushing back into the breast rolling forward and releasing so that action is going to bring milk to the tip of the nipple and it can take a number of expressions before you do see those droplets so don't be discouraged but there is a large difference between hand expression and breast compression so when we're compressing our breast we want to be nice and far behind those grape-like sacs that christina was talking about the best placement of your hand is up close against your chest wall. So for the ladies, if you think about when you're wearing a bra, you wanna be nice and far back towards where that underwire may be sitting. We wanna be behind all of those grape-like ducts so that when we are compressing the breast, we're increasing the pressure behind those grape-like sacs and we're pushing milk down to baby's mouth. If we're a little bit too close to the areola or to the nipple, or if we do a bit of a milking um, sort of idea with our thumb, if you picture those grape-like structures and you think of them as well as almost straws, so those straws are carrying milk down to the nipple. The nipple has multiple different openings and milk can spray in all sorts of different directions. If we are compressing those ducts and we're compressing those straws, we're actually impeding the flow of milk. So baby is not getting quite as much milk as he or she could if we were compressing nice and far back against our chest wall. When baby is on the breast and breastfeeding, we want to really be mindful of the swallows that baby is giving us. So this is something that is so important to feel confident in when baby is breastfeeding, because this is our biggest indicator outside of peas and poops for how much milk is baby transferring. We've had moms that'll come into clinic and say, my baby's breastfeeding for 30 minutes on each breast, things are going great. So Christina and I may watch that feed and when we're looking at baby's milk transfer and how often they're swallowing, there's very little transfer of milk happening and lots of suckling. So if anyone does have questions regarding how to observe a swallow, you're unsure, please feel free to reach out to us here at Niagara Parents. We have a number of really great video clips we would be happy to share. Speak with your midwives, speak with your nurse in hospital, and they can help point that out to you as well. So when we are considering the swallow, when swallows are starting to slow in a baby, that's when breast compression becomes super, super helpful. When those swallows are slowing, we want to increase that pressure to push any of that extra remaining milk down to our baby. And this brings us into our next slide here, where we're talking about offering both breasts. At a feeding, we start with our first side, we let baby drink and suckle, baby's now getting a little bit sleepy. Breast compression is a great way to encourage that baby to keep sucking. Now we've done our breast compression, baby's still a little bit sleepy. What we would recommend, take baby off of the breast, bring baby up skin to skin to the chest, offer a burp. Baby may or may not burp. It's very normal in a breastfed baby for them not to burp because they're not taking an air like they would with a bottle. 